Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we're going to talk about the symptoms of a bad downstream O2 sensor and how to troubleshoot. The downstream O2 sensor monitors the oxygen level in your vehicle's exhaust gases after they exit the catalytic converter and verifies that it effectively minimizes harmful emissions. Here's what to look out for if the downstream O2 sensor is bad. The check engine light comes on. Although the check engine light may signal various issues, a faulty downstream O2 sensor is among the most common causes, especially for high mileage vehicles. The fuel efficiency decreases. If fuel efficiency decreases, there's a high chance it is because of a bad downstream O2 sensor. A defective sensor can produce incorrect readings of the air-fuel mixture, causing an imbalance. Rough engine idling. A defective downstream O2 sensor can lead to a rough running engine as it may not adequately control the combustion cycles or air-to-fuel ratio. Engine underperformance. A bad downstream O2 sensor may cause the vehicle's engine to perform poorly, and you may experience it starting to stutter, falter, or shut off unexpectedly. Bad exhaust smells. A faulty downstream O2 sensor may cause an overload of residual fuel that's been unburnt in your vehicle's exhaust. As a result, strong and unpleasant smells like sulfuric may begin to occur. Visible black exhaust smoke. An improper air-fuel mixture can lead to inefficient combustion, causing unburned fuel to exit the exhaust as black smoke, pointing to a bad downstream O2 sensor. Damaged catalytic converter. A faulty downstream O2 sensor may lead to a large amount of unburned fuel reaching the catalytic converter, causing it to overheat and therefore damage. Emissions test failure. A bad downstream O2 sensor may lead to your vehicle's failure in an emission test. When this occurs, inspecting the O2 sensor and replacing it if required is crucial. So, how do you go about diagnosing a faulty downstream O2 sensor? Here's how. Scan for error codes related to the downstream O2 sensor using an OBD2 scanner. Standard trouble codes include P0156, through P0161. Kindly note that the sensor's location depends on your car's model, but it is typically located behind the catalytic converter in the exhaust pipe. Examine the downstream O2 sensor for any signs of wear or staining. Inspect the sensor's wiring for flawed connections or corrosive damage. Monitor the sensor's voltage reading using a multimeter. Consistently low or high voltage readings, below 0.1 or above 0.9, may indicate a malfunction. After confirming your downstream O2 sensor is faulty using these steps, here's how to replace it. Assemble the required tools and equipment, including a wrench, a new oxygen sensor, lubricating oil, gloves, and goggles. Shut off your vehicle's engine and let it cool down. After it is cooled down, find the downstream O2 sensor, typically behind the catalytic converter in the exhaust pipe. With your protective gloves on, coat the sensor threads with lubricating oil and allow it to absorb for a few minutes. Using your wrench, carefully loosen and detach the sensor. Most new oxygen sensors come pre-coated with anti-seize compound, but if yours doesn't, apply a small amount before installation. Use your wrench to replace the old sensor with the new one, ensuring it is securely screwed into place. Next, use the OBD2 scanner to scan for any downstream O2 sensor codes and ensure they are clear. Start your car engine, check if the check engine light comes on, and verify that it turns off. Please note that if you cannot complete these procedures, it is advisable to contact your local certified mechanic for extra support and guidance. Thanks for watching.